Well, ladies and gents, the CW. Now, we know that this was up for sale. We didn't know exactly what would happen with it, but we do know that this thing has never turned a profit. It's been, it's been a joke from day one. Um, and obviously, with it being up for sale, it was an interesting turn of events because obviously it saw the potential for DC to take back characters that, you know, they, they'd sort of, sat with CW and and also take back shows right you know give the DC shows a, a proper home over on HBO proper budget uh, and then we learn this uh, so the CW sale details uh, basically the network was given away essentially yeah they had to give CW away because no one wanted to buy it. Which is just insane to me. And you wonder, like, we always, we always talk about these things. Like, oh, you know, where's... how I, The money this, the money that. Oh, you know, budgets here, budgets then. You think about these networks. I mean, think about uh, the likes of Warner Brothers Discovery. They're in, bet in, in debt in the billions. And you're like, okay, so some of that was from AT&T. Some of that was... Yeah, some of that was this as well. You just think, God, the mismanagement on such a monumental scale. The consistent green lighting of shite. And, you know, this isn't even get work, go broke. I mean, this is such poverty line level crap. You had to actually give the network away. I mean, come on now. Surely you must know something's going wrong when that has, that has to happen. So any new details of the deal, uh, which Nextstar acquired the CW, revealed that the network was essentially given away for free. That's right. No one wanted to buy it, so they gave it away. After reporting that the network, which took the place of the uh, Warner Brothers, hadn't recorded a profit since it was created in 2006, its parent companies, Paramount and Warner Brothers Discovery, put it up for sale in August of this year. A uh, deal was then finalised for the Texas-based media company Nexstar to take a 75% stake in the CW. Uh, however, yesterday, The Hollywood Reporter shared further details on the deal which Nexstar acquired uh, the CW. In their breakdown, it was revealed that their 75% stake was given away for free. Once accounts receivable and payable, as well as accumulated cash, are factored into the deal. This translates to the company receiving about $54 million for the deal. So essentially, Nextstar was paid <laughs> to take the CW off their hands. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? What? What is going on? What world do we live in? So, given away for free. Essentially paid. Please take this uh, big old pile of crap off of our hands. We uh, we can't actually handle this. Uh, we don't quite know what we're doing anymore. Please take it. Please, please, please take it off our hands. And yeah, and so they did. Goodness me. Now, they, they comment here. This is the screen around. They're like, oh, you know, the trouble future of the uh, CW's current programming. And this is the interesting thing is that how do you move forwards, right? There's so many series which are basically done. So for fans of the CW and their programming, was barely any of them, all of like three people, which includes widely popular franchises like Riverdale, Supernatural, Walker, and the Arrowverse, a family of shows starring various DC characters. The network changing hands has been a nail-biting experience. Many shows that were waiting for renewals remained on the bubble while the company was being put on the market. The long way ending with the network taking the axe to a huge proportion of the slate, cancelling a slew of series including the Arrowverse, DC Legends of Tomorrow, Naomi, Batwoman, which had like three, four seasons? Should never have had that many. They subsequently revealed that many of the series that had already been renewed, including Riverdale and The Flash, would have their next seasons become their last. So what, like, what's next for this thing? Which wasn't making them money. They had to give it away. 
So despite so much of their slate being cold, the CW still la still launched several new series this year. Fuck it out. Supernatural prequel, The Winchesters, Walker prequel, Walker Independence. However, uh, during Next Star's quarterly earnings call in early November, CFO Lee Ann uh, said basically there's a minimal amount of the current slate of shows will still be on the air for 23-24 season. So we're just gonna we're gonna axe more as the company transitions the network towards creating originals rather than licensing series. Because this is the thing, they they're gonna have to pay Warner Brothers. For the rights to use these DC characters. So what is the CW now? What is it going to be? I mean it's literally just going to have to be original works. Which sure fine. Hopefully that's going to be good for it. But they. You can see why they had to basically give it away now. Because they were like okay so, so what's in this deal then? Oh we can't use anything. Uh, no thanks. So essentially any current running scripted programs on the CW. We'll need to deliver an incredibly strong season in order to justify their continued existence on the network. Should any of the current slate survive, it seems likely it would be one or more of the franchise titles. The Winchesters belongs to Supernatural Universe, which has been uh, the bread and butter of the network for nearly two decades. But again, it still doesn't make money. Likewise, the fact that Walker has already garnered a spin-off, uh, in addition to starring Supernatural alum Jared uh, Padalecki, Likely remains, uh, you know, basically it's got enough legs to at least carry on uh, its main branch. That's what they think. But the fact that I just can't believe it. Well, I can. But isn't it just utterly hilarious? It goes to show that these companies are just bleeding money dry. You know, Disney's one of them now. Disney's realising that you can't keep doing this crap. Uh, they had to get rid of Bob Chapek. He's basically the fool guy. For Bob Iger's failures. Uh, make no mistake, Bob Iger absolutely unequivocally has set Disney on this course that Bob Chapek was just following. And now you've <laughs> now you've got Bob Iger back on board as well. But hopefully they'll use Bob Chapek as a full guy and then cancel off all of this uh, crap, which they're doing. But yeah, basically gave it away for free. Essentially, Next Star was paid to take the CW off of Warner Brothers and Paramount's hands. What a joke. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. This, I just saw this and it made me laugh so much. So I am curious. What do you guys think?